Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about proposals intended to give Florida felons back their rights to vote, a major break in Thailand's wildlife trafficking syndicate, and more. Today is Monday, January 22nd, and this is the lunch break. Two proposals that would automatically restore voting rights to felons who have served their sentences were approved Thursday by a Florida Constitution Revision Commission panel. In a 6-2 vote, the Commission's Ethics and Elections Committee approved Proposal 7 that would automatically restore voting rights to felons who have served their prison time and completed probation or parole requirements. Felons convicted of murder or sexual offenses would be excluded. In another 6-2 vote, the panel endorsed a Proposal 21 that would also automatically restore felons' voting rights after sentences are completed, but would exclude a larger group of felons from automatic restoration, including things like carjacking and burglary. Proposal 7 is identical to a constitutional initiative launched by Floridians for a fair democracy, a group that is trying to place the proposal on a November ballot by submitting petition signatures. And the group, which has already won approval from the state Supreme Court for the wording of its proposal, is close to reaching the ballot. February 1st is the deadline to collect 1 million signatures from Floridians. If the group is successful, the measure will be dropped by the Fort Lauderdale senator who proposed it, but he said he wanted to keep his proposal moving forward in case a last-minute problem occurs with the petition drive. The government shutdown is set to sow more disruption and political peril today after the Senate inched closer but ultimately failed short of an agreement that would have reopened federal agencies before the beginning of the work week. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and Democratic Leader Chuck Schumer said negotiations lasted late into the night with a vote to break Democratic filibuster on a short-term funding bill scheduled for noon today. Under the proposal taking shape, Democrats would agree to a three-week spending measure in return for a commitment from the Republican leadership in the Senate to address immigration policy and other pressing legislative matters in the coming weeks. While lawmakers feuded, signs of the shutdown were evident at national parks and in some federal agencies. Social Security and most other safety net programs were unaffected by the lapse in federal spending authority. Critical government functions continued with uniformed service members, health inspectors, and law enforcement officers set to work without pay. The vote today will be a test of unity and resolve among Democrats. Five Democrats from states won by Trump broke ranks in a vote Friday. The measure gained 50 votes to proceed to 49 against, but 60 were needed to break a Democratic filibuster. One of the largest known wildlife traffickers in a massive syndicate has been arrested. Thai police arrested Boon Chai Bok, the suspected kingpin of wildlife trafficking, who allegedly fueled much of Asia's illegal trade for over a decade. The 40-year-old Thai of Vietnamese descent was arrested Friday in connection with the smuggling of 14 rhino horns worth over $1 million from Africa into Thailand last month. Boon Chai allegedly ran a large trafficking network on the Thai-Laos border that spread into Vietnam. According to the anti-trafficking group Freeland Foundation, he and his family played a key role in a criminal syndicate that has smuggled poached items including ivory, rhino horn, pangolins, tigers, lions, and other rare and endangered species. Matthew Pritchett, Freeland's director of communications, said he couldn't think of anything in the past five years that has been this significant. Thailand is a transit hub for trafficked wildlife, mostly destined for China, and was considered to have the largest unregulated ivory market in the world before it introduced the Elephant Ivory Act of 2014 and 2015 to regulate the domestic ivory market and criminalize the sale of ivory. Boon Chai's arrest breaks open Thailand's largest wildlife crime case ever. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. For your twice daily news fix, head over to the Naples Herald YouTube channel and subscribe. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts on the news or what you'd like to hear about. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.